Good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the Uranium and ISO Energy update on Commodity TV. The AI boom is going full throttle and there is a never-ending and rising and need for power. But this has to be 24-7 available. AI is changing everything like self-driving cars to advanced data analytics and artificial intelligence is quickly becoming a key part of our modern economy, valued at $184 billion, maybe more, dollars today. For all those new techniques and features, we need power, meaning reliable baseload power. Not many people so far realized what power needs data centers have. Companies like Microsoft, Google, Amazon are racing to build out data centers capable of handling this incredible demand and they need a lot of energy to do it. By one estimate, data centers could consume up to 9% of the United States electricity by 2030, more than double what they are using today. Renewable energy sources like wind and solar, as popular as they are, simply aren't enough to get the job done. They are intermittent, meaning they can't provide electricity 24-7. That's where nuclear comes in. We think renewables, together with nuclear, heal the world. Amazon signed agreements to support the construction of several new small modular reactors, the SMRs, in the Pacific Northwest. These reactors, owned and operated by Energy Northwest, will eventually generate enough power to serve the needs of over 770,000 US homes. Meanwhile, Google announced a partnership with Keras Power to bring 500 megawatts of SMRs online by 2035. Perhaps the most eye-catching deal came from Microsoft, which made headlines for partnering with Constellation Energy to revive the Three Mile Islands nuclear plant. Yes, that Three Mile Islands, renamed as Crane Clean Energy Center. Microsoft is betting $1.6 billion to restore the plant by 2028 and secure carbon-free energy for the next 20 years. At all this up in 2025 is expected to usher in a record amount of nuclear generation with more than half of it coming from China and India, according to the International Energy Agency. That is why you really should own uranium companies like ISO Energy. The company is bringing at least three uranium mines in the USA into production again in 2025 and 2026. They also entered into a contribution agreement in connection with the creation of a joint venture with Pure Point Uranium Group for the exploration and development of a portfolio of uranium properties in northern Saskatchewan's Athabasca Basin. Both companies will contribute assets from their respective portfolios to the joint venture, which will consist of 10 projects covering more than 98,000 hectares in the east side of the Athabasca Basin and will leverage their respective ex expertise to capitalize on the significant potential of these properties. The joint venture will be comprised of 10 projects within the eastern Athabasca Basin, including ISO Energies, Geiger, Forburn Lake, Full Moon, Edge, Collins Bay Extension, North Thurburn, to Z Lake and Madison Project, and also Pure Points Turner and Red Willow Projects. All this is complementary and prospective ground covering the La Roque trend with strong discovery potential as this is an important regional structure that hosts the world-class hurricane deposit and other notable high-grade occurrences including those on Kameko Orana's Dawn Lake joint venture. The trend extends onto the Turner Lake and Full Moon projects, positioning the joint venture along a proven corridor for uranium mineralization where further discoveries could be expedited. There are also strategic synergy and strengths in positioning through an equity participation with ISO Energy subscribing for $1 million in the concurrent equity financing of PurePoint. Through this equity stake, ISO Energy will gain exposure to PurePoint's other highly prospective exploration projects in the Athabasca Basin, including Hook Lake, which previously intersected an impressive 10 meters at 10.3% U308. In turn, PurePoint will benefit from ISO Energy's financial and technical support, enabling both companies to work collaboratively to accelerate project development and drive long-term success. ISO Energy will initially hold a 60% interest in the joint venture, while PurePoint will hold a 40% interest. Each party has the option to adjust this ownership to a 50-50 within six months through the exercise of mutually exclusive put-call options. PurePoint will serve as the operator during the exploration phase of the joint venture properties. Upon the advancement into the pre-development phase, ISO Energy will assume operational control of the joint venture properties. The Ponit figure chart has now 
positive reversal formations upwards. And the first price target is 5 Canadian dollars, followed by the old high of 6.5 Canadian dollar. Longer term, we see 14 Canadian dollars as a target. You find all information also on our Commodity TV app in German English, plus all about commodities. We are happy for a like, but more important, please subscribe to our TV channels. Please note the disclaimer. The shares discussed are or will be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate, and I am or will be a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us, and bye-bye from Switzerland.